type. This video will show you how to do long division before we do partial fraction. What is long division? For example, what is 43 divided by 5? Well, you can write 43 and see how many 5 go into 43. We know that there are 8 5 will give you 40. And then 43 minus 40, you leave a remainder 3. So you have a quotient and a remainder. So 43 over 5 can be written as 8 plus 3 over 5. Here in example 6, we have x power 3 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. This topic is on partial fraction. However, the fraction we have is an improper fraction because the degree of the numerator is 3 is greater than or equal to the degree which is 2 of the denominator. Therefore, we cannot do partial fraction now. We have to do long division first. Let's do the long division now. If I x cubed divided by x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, then we see how many x squared can go into x cubed. Well, you can multiply x squared by x. This will give you x cubed now. So this will give you x squared times x, x cubed. And then they multiply minus 2x to x. This will give you minus 2x squared. And then you multiply minus 3 to x. This will give you minus 3x now. And then we subtract. Just imagine that you have 0x squared following x cubed and 0x following x squared. When you subtract, x cubed minus x cubed gets 0. 0x squared minus negative 2x squared, you get 2x squared. 0x minus negative 3x, you get plus 3x. Then we check, can we have 2x squared divided by x squared? One way to get is you multiply x squared by 2 now. By doing so, x squared times 2, you get 2x squared. Then, minus 2x times x, you get minus 4x. And then, Minus 3 times 2, I get minus 6. Then you subtract again. Imagine that after 3x, you get 0. And subtract. So 3x, 3x minus minus 4x, you get 7x. 0 minus minus 6, you go plus 6. And you find that you cannot do any more division now because you have x squared and do not x squared anymore. You have x squared on the denominator and the remainder there is no x squared. So we have a remainder here, 7x plus 6. And the quotient here, x plus 2. So, the improper fraction can be written as x plus 2 as a quotient plus remainder 7x plus 6 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. 
Now, x squared minus 2x minus 3 can be factorized where which we want to do partial fraction later on. So let's factorize this. This is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 1. We can now apply partial fraction to 7x plus 6 over x minus 3, x plus 1. Notice that you must factorize the denominator completely. Now, since both the factor in the denominator are linear factor of degree 1, so you split the partial fraction into a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 1. So what is A, what is B now? This method is called cover up method. It's very fast. What you do is copy the expression on the left hand side where you want to do partial fraction. Then A is on top of x minus 3. So what we do is cover up x minus 3. Then you put x equal to 3, where x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we get 7 times 3 plus 6 over 3 plus 1. And that will give you 27 over 4. So you find a, a is on top of x minus 3. You cover x minus 3 and put x minus 3 equals 0, which will, give, which will give you x equal to 3. And substitute 3 into the expression, you get a. To find b, b is on top of x plus 1. So you cover up x plus 1. And then you put x plus 1 equals 0, means x equal to minus 1 now. So we get 7 substitution x equal to minus 1 plus 6 over x equal to minus 1 minus 3 and up is minus 1 over minus 4 which is 1 quarter. Therefore, we know a is 27 over 4, b is 1 quarter. We know after the long revision, this becomes x plus 2 plus, then we do partial fraction, is x minus 3 in the denominator, 27 over 4 in the denominator, and x plus 1 in the denominator, 1 quarter in the denominator. So then, integrate term by term, integrate x get x squared over 2, integrate 2, get 2x, integrate 27 over 4, and divide by x minus 3, you get 27 over 4, ln of x minus 3, and integrate 1 quarter divided by x plus 1 is 1 quarter, ln of x plus 1, so finally, plus c.